So my name is Gibran Hanna and I'm electrical engineering with a focus in micro nanosystems. Also doing a minor in biomedical engineering as well. Really like the physics part of it, like understanding how electrons move and how electromagnetic waves interact with each other and how that helps power our phones, our cell phones and everything. So that's specifically why I went into electrical engineering. So after graduating, I think my current plan right now would be to go directly into industry. I think grad school, I want to kind of lay off for just a little bit just because I want to get industry experience to find out exactly what I want to do. You know, I don't want to go and get a master's in something that I find out I don't really like later on. So I want to get that experience in the industry with wherever I end up. I would definitely go with my um, AC circuit analysis lab, specifically the lab. And the reason why is just I love it's really hard to just go directly from theory and just do a bunch of math and just keep yourself focused when I'm just doing theory. I want to know how it's applied, and what becomes applicable with all the things I'm learning. And lab is just always something that's really beneficial for that. I mean, in all my classes we have different labs, but what sets this lab apart is at the end, I'd mentioned that I was really interested in medical technologies and we built an EKG on a breadboard, which is something that was, I didn't know was possible. And so that kind of opened up my mind to what I can actually do with my degree. There's so many different avenues that I can build and even with the things that I have right now, just with my little ECE parts kit, I can create a whole EKG and from there I can, I can do so much more. You don't need a lot of experience when you first come into tech. The whole point is you're here to learn and so that's something that I wish that I had like more applied to when I first came to Virginia Tech. I was very hesitant because I had seen freshmen who were coming in who had already built robots or freshmen who were coming in who already knew five different coding languages and I didn't even know the names of three of them. So when I came here I really felt overwhelmed and because of that I didn't apply apply myself to a lot of the different design teams or clubs that are all available here at Virginia Tech and I really wish I did and I started doing that now this semester and even though I've taken all the theory and things like that it's very different when applying it to actual practice and now that I'm doing that it's still it's very like they lead you along in the learning process it's not that you have to know everything immediately off the bat I'm on the team with freshmen who, you know, some know more than me, some don't know anything at all. And we're all just learning together as we're going. It's the whole point is you're learning through experience. And so I would definitely say, get yourself involved in design teams and research right away as you start, because that's, first of all, a great thing to put on your resume, a great thing to talk to recruiters about when you're going to career fairs. But it's also so fun. It's just so fun and so rewarding to know that the things that you're learning are actually applicable in so many different ways and I make sure to schedule those things in. So right now, I have this, and then after this, I'm gonna go do homework, and then I'm gonna go to class, and then I'll go to the CCM, so I make sure to schedule those things in, because those things are just as important as the classes you're taking. Because a lot of colleges, not just about all the academics you're doing, but your personal growth. And so that's something that I wanna invest in, and I'm really trying to do more junior year.